Hey guys, doing another quick review on our sleeping system. I've had a few guys reach out to us and ask us what exactly we're using as far as uh, you know sleeping systems when it's 40 degrees and higher. So say those cool fall evenings, um, summer, late spring, versus when it gets really cold. And if we're if we're upgrading what we're doing, I, we have two different sleep systems that we run. When I say we, it's me and a few of my buddies. Um, kind of a newer sleep system and I, I'm going to break down basically the pads separately from the sleeping bags but initially right here this is what you're going to get in an ultralight uh, 40 degree and higher uh, two pound pack pad sleeping bag both roughly about a pound or less equates to about two pounds and you can see the size difference next to an Nalgene bottle so ultralight 40 degree, 45 degree and higher. This is what we're packing. And I'll break down the pads and the sleeping bag separately in here in a minute. Um, when it gets cold, this is what we're going with. You're gonna go basically two pounds. You're gonna upgrade to a insulated pad and a zero degree down sleeping bag. Um, four pounds, two pounds, so you got six pounds here when it gets really cold. This system right here will keep you warm when it hits freezing temperatures, I'd say down to zero degrees. I've tested it out for years and it works. This system here is really my go-to system uh, during the majority of the, the hunting season, the, the summer hiking season, 12,000 feet, even when it gets to cool 45 degrees, the system here seems to work. I'm going to break out both the sleeping pads and the sleeping bags here in a second, uh, go over some weights and some dimensions with you. Start with this is a company called Aegis. You spell it A E G I S. Again, A E G I S. This is the Aegis Max. Uh, basically, it's an import special. Uh, it is manufactured in China, um, and they import it over here. Pick this up on Amazon, and this is basically my ultralight sleeping bag. This bag weighs 15 ounces. In a you know that compressed state, it'll actually go down even a little bit smaller than what you see here. It's a great little bag. I've used it for five nights so far this spring and going to be using it throughout the summer and into the early part of the fall. It is a 40, 45 degree bag, uh, goose down. It is about 78 inches long. It does have a snow collar or a, a cinch collar on it so you can get in there and just basically compress yourself in it and just leave your face exposed. The zipper is a YKK zipper. It is surprisingly um, built well, and I've had really no snagging in it. It, it does a great job. Uh, it's a budget bag. I uh, paid only, <clears throat> I believe, $65 for this delivered from Amazon. And, you know, a lot of people say, well, you know, you're supporting stuff built in China. i uh, got news for you. A lot of your high-end bags are, are manufactured in Malaysia and different countries as well. But... Um, it's a great goose down bag and you can see the size of that thing for 15 ounces nearly the same uh, size you're going to get in a Nalgene bottle um, so this this bag here I've ran it five nights I'm going to use it well into the fall and when I do have some colder temperatures when it's going to dip down into the freezing mark and lower uh, I'm a big wimp I, I don't like to sleep cold I have packed this bag here for years. Um, it is a Kelty Cosmic zero degree down 800 loft. It's about the same length, um, maybe a little shorter, I believe, on the short end uh, compared to this the 78 inches here. I'm going to check the figures on it just to be exact. It's 72 inches. If you get the longer version, it's going to weigh a little bit more, maybe a quarter to a half pound and you'd get into 78. Again, 72 when this Agus, I, I know the Agus makes a zero degree as well. I have not tried it and it's in the 130 range, 120 range. Um, I may end up going that route uh, and just giving it a shot as well. But this is the Kelty Cosmic Down zero degree. You can see the difference in the way they compress. Big difference is this thing's going to keep you warm. I've been in it when it's been down around six degrees Fahrenheit, um, even close to zero, and it's kept me warm with a pair of wool socks and just a wool liner like I've got on now. 
It is a great sleeping bag. I've had it five years, over 100 nights in it. Uh, zipper's tight. I've washed it two or three times. It's still held up well. It's got great loft if you treat it and you wash it properly. Uh, it does not come with its compression sack, but it is four pounds. So four pounds versus 15 ounces, but it's really the environment you're going in. If you're going super cold, below freezing, I have to go a zero degree bag. Um, if it's summer temperatures in a hammock or if I'm just in a sleeping under a tarp, this is a great, great summer bag, 40 degrees and above. Uh, the cool thing with this, with the Agus, is it comes with its own compression sack. You can see how that compresses down, also a storage bag. 65 bucks, in my opinion, you can't go wrong. It's a great, a great setup. Um, so again, 15 ounces, four pounds. The alternatives, you know, with, with a bag that weight, um, in that, with that type of warmth in the 40 degree range, you're gonna pay, you can pay upwards of 300 bucks for it, maybe a little bit more. Um, I know on this sleeping bag here, the Kelty, I went budget because there are bags out there that go up to $600 for a zero degree, 800 fill. Uh, the difference is, is those bags only weigh about two and a half pounds. This bag weighs four pounds. So I'm saving, I don't know, you do the math, about $400 on a $200 bag. I have actually got this for $150, but they retail for about $200. And I save $400 on this bag. I do have an extra pound and a half of weight. Um, but when you're on a budget, the Kelty Cosmic Down Zero Degree for cold weather is a good heavy. It's a four pound bag. Here's a shot of the two sleeping bags side by side. Uh, of course, you've got the Kelty on the left, it's a zero degree, and the Agus on the right, which is about a 40 to 45 degree. And you can see the, the difference in the loft. Um, obviously, with the, the Kelty, you're going to get a much thicker loft. Um, it's more consistent. And again, that's the difference between like an 800 fill um, zero degree uh, goose down and a, I'd say it's probably about a 400. They claim it's seven, 800 fill. Um, I, I would beg to differ, but that Agus is, uh, it's a, for a 40, 45 degree bag, it's pretty solid. As far as the zippers on both bags, uh, the Agus, you know what, when I first initially saw the zipper on it, I thought it was quite flimsy until I actually got it out, packed it, got it outside, and it's pretty consistent as far as the, there's really no snagging. So here we've got the sleeping pads that we use. Obviously on the right, this is the ultralight sleeping pad that I use. It is a climate static V, and I can even compress that down a little bit more. Uh, if I roll that up a little bit tighter, but you can see the size. This again is ultralight. This is going to come in just under a pound, maybe about a pound, 16 ounces. It's the Climate. Uh, you spell that K-L-Y-M-I-T. It's a uh, brand made here in uh, Utah, and they do a pretty good job. Um, I've had this pad about six, seven years now since they came out, and it's taken some abuse. It's an R valve, blows up in about 10 breaths. And it's on the short end. I don't have the long version. This is 72 inches uh, at a pound. Uh, you can get a longer version at 78, and you're probably going to increase that to probably 20 ounces in weight. Uh, I combine that with the Agus sleeping bag. And what I get with the Agus sleeping bag at 15 ounces in a 40 degree state, um, along with this climate pad. I'm basically under two pounds and, and again this is not insulated it's going to get me through those summer late spring summer early fall uh, non insulated 15 16 ounces along with the Agus sleeping bag that's about 15 ounces um, and they're both just a little bit larger than an Algene bottle so you, you're two pounds and under for my ultra lightweight and it's a decent little setup it really is uh, I've used the Agus bag five nights. I've used this for about five years, and so far so good on the climate pad. Um, when it does get cold, uh, I use the zero degree down Cosmic Kelty sleeping bag, which is four pounds. It's some weight. Um, I just can't afford a $600 sleeping bag, so I go that route, pay about a, 
150 for it. And the sleeping pad that I, I really fell in love with, and I've used it for a couple years now, it is from REI. It's an REI brand. It's called the Stratus. It's an insulated sleeping pad. Um, this one I did get the extra length. It's 78 inches by about 25 wide. Uh, what's, what's cool about this pad is it not only is it insulated, so when it's in those colder months, I've got an insulated pad. It's a little thicker. You get two and a half inches out of the climate. You get about three, three and a half out of the, the REI Stratus. You get the insulation. Uh, the good thing about the insulation is it keeps that cold barrier between you and the ground. And it's, it's a durable little pad. Um, it does have a little bit of extra weight. Let me give you an exact weight on the REI Stratus. Uh, if you get the long version, it's a pound, 13 ounces. If you get the regular version, 72 inches, it's going to come in at about a pound, 7 ounces. So when it's cold, I'm definitely adding some weight. I'm going almost, you know, a pound and a half, maybe a little more than that, almost two pounds on a pad, four pounds on a sleeping bag. I'm six pounds when it's cold. To me, it's worth it. Uh, when it's really cold, I'm in snow and it's, you know, freezing temperatures, I'll pack the six pounds. When it's the summer temperatures and I'm 40 degrees and higher, uh, even at 12,000, 10,000 feet, I'm going to go ultra light and I'm going to be two pounds. So that wraps it up. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Uh, send us a message on YouTube or you can send us a message on Instagram. Uh, it's 3T Outdoors on Instagram. Feel free to message us. Happy to, to really to help you guys out. I mean, this is gear that we've tested and it's proven. Um, we're not sponsored by any of these companies. It's really just gear that we've proven out in the field and wanted to share it with you. Uh, I really didn't roll, unroll the pads in this review and show you the difference in the pads and the sizes. There's different reviews on the climate as well as the REI Stratus that you can pull up. But uh, they're, they're both great pads. I've beat the heck out of the climate pad for years. The RI for the last three years, and they're both great pads, as well as the sleeping bags. Any questions, please let us know. Thanks, guys.